Alright, uh, yay, this, um, yeah, this is just kind of my senior project, I guess. I uh, don't really have a clue what I'm doing. I mean, I, I have my goal, but I have no clue what I'm doing, and this is all public. Oh boy, okay. Yeah, long story short, I chose to beat, uh, a video game for my senior project. I I had no clue what to do. And I was kind of forced into this role against my will. So I picked to be a harder game that hopefully will last me enough time to keep me occupied. Or something. I'm not sure. I have struggled for 30 minutes trying to get audio to work. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of nervous because the audio input bar is, uh, capping out to orange, which isn't good. Alright, uh, we're just gonna start. Yes, I named my save Jake from State Farm. The reason why there's an apostrophe S there is because I believe the game makes it, like, the, whatever your save is, and then, and then estate... So I added the apostrophe S to at least make it somewhat coherent, hopefully. Uh, there, there's an entire intro scene, but because of some things I had to set up to make my life a tiny bit easier for just this game in general. Yeah, just, there's no intro. I had to make sure the things I have on work, which are mostly just, um... Mostly just background and hallway variations. I'll explain that in a minute. And that's about it. Oh, and I removed the dungeon restriction level. But other than that, I did absolutely nothing. So, um, pretty much what happens for this senior project people I have to force to watch this. Uh... You're traveling to your state because your uncle pretty much inherited it to you because he died. Uh, the, the driver was pretty much insane. Tried to kill uh, you and your two hirees. Uh, I just call them mercenaries. I don't know their proper term. But pretty much, you guys survived. And uh, yeah, these guys are the very basic characters. These are the first two you unlock. Uh, Warrior of Light, you get pretty much uh, this right here, Warrior of Light. I get a damage bonus if Torch is above 75. This is the Torch up here, the weird Torch, you know, torch right there with the bar. Uh, the higher the better. Uh, you can go low. Brigands have run up these lanes. Keep to the side the path. Areas. The hamlet is just ahead. I have no clue how low it gets, I mean, like, how bad it gets at lower levels, because I always keep it above 75, but pretty much, just looking at the map right here, which is right here, the map should be up there, hopefully, uh, pretty much everything in between this room, which is the starting area, I'll go back in there, and this room is considered a hallway, Yeah, that's about Dispatch it. This and those combat, fashion, that all may hear you'll run arrival. into people who don't like you. This is one of the guys who will not like you. Our public response is, we don't condone this type of uh, thievery. These are brigands, bandits. Uh, so already looking at the combat, you can tell what am I looking at and I feel the same way. Pretty much uh, every hero, every mercenary, I want to call them heroes so bad. Pretty much every mercenary has four moves, technically five, but that's just a basic move. And then the one you should never press is past turn. Uh, stress damage is the second bar, we'll get into that more when our heroes are actually suffering from stress and trauma. But pretty much these are attacks right here. Uh, the on the left side you have the bright white lights, or I guess yellowish, I guess. 
pretty much what these do. Uh, the ones that are lit up pretty much says in the party order will pretty much allow you to do that move. So pretty much I can't do the pistol shot. I should be able to... Oh wait, I can't do it because he's in the first slot. I'm sorry, it's really late. And I got like no sleep last night. But uh, pretty much right here. Uh, for the red lights, it's your targets. And if an enemy isn't in your targeted zone, you can't use that move. I, I didn't know that. The little highlighted ring around it means I've selected a move. The numbers underneath relate to like keypad, keyboard stuff. I mostly just use keyboard for this game. It's just easier, quicker, more useful. You may notice your stats change apparent to your move. There's accuracy, critical hit, chance, damage, and then these will probably not change per move. I'm not 100% sure. I haven't played this game in a while, I only just came back to it to do this project. The enemy, obviously, uh, their HP's there, their name, their, I guess, species type we can call that, which is human. Uh, protection negates damage, so if you do like 5 damage, 15% of that is void. Dodge pretty much means if I have a 95% chance to hit, and he has a dodge too, I minus 2 for my hit chance. Speed is just what they add to it, an invisible roll to pretty much decide who goes first. Usually the faster here, uh, mercenaries go first, but there are there are very low chances that a very speedy mercenary will go dead last. So we're just gonna attack. Some things just popped up. Don't let him stab me. Okay. You just saw more chance stuff. There's a lot of background math in this game. It's painful. Pretty much. There are debuffs, which is right there. Bleed resistance and speed. Pretty much if I hover over to the guy, I, I will discover any moves they have. That's what their skills are. And then you have their resistances there. Uh, as you can tell, humans bleed easily. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. And then, yeah. It's really it. We'll cover quirks and stuff after we get more heroes. But these two guys Leave here will unchecked. always have the same There is quirks. much to be found in forgotten places. And then see torchlight just dimmed. An ambush. Meaning Send all that bad stuff has happened. Message. The rightful and owner it. has and returned, and their kind right is there. no longer welcome. But uh, as you can tell, they're very different enemies. Uh, they don't like you, obviously. Sadly. Uh, some moves have a uses remaining, which pretty much means if I use that, I can't use it again, or I could. Some the, some moves might have like uses three, and then might as well do this. Some characters can change torchlight, which is very useful. Like it is really useful. That's why I like the Crusaders so much, because they can do a lot of damage, and they can help you raise your Torchlight. But you can't actually decide a battle. There is a tactic you can do to get better loot, which I will show you. Precision and wow. Power. Okay. I did not expect a critical hit. This fight will be over very soon. That is stress damage. The weird little crown over their head that that stress damage as you can see it's slowly building up that isn't good I do that the champion falls. as you can see dodge is important unless if you're one of the tankier classes which can be uh, we'll discuss each class in greater detail when we run into them of course, because like I said, I have to explain everything to the people I have to show these Continuing videos to. Destroy and to the people, I mean my teacher who decides to suffer through this. 
And I'm pretty much quest completed right here. There. Duh. Uh, continue adventuring. Let me have chests. If you like chests. However, for the tutorial, they don't want you to have fun yet, so it's trapped. Pretty much, regardless what we do, we will get poisoned. Come on. Oh, I want to leave. I don't want to be here. This is the quest reward screen. Pretty much, every mission has a reward. And then, any treasure and stock supplies, like if you bought too much, that immediately is resold back into gold, I think, at a reduced price. Heirlooms are very important. They allow you to upgrade stuff. These are resolves, these are levels, they do not normally look like this because I have a mod activated that makes it look way better than what the default is because I'm picky about graphics. Oh boy, that is beautiful for the Crusader. Early right, okay, that's not bad. Ah, he can suck it up, he'll be fine. Get a load of this loading screen. It's it's loading. Welcome home. Okay, good. I was Such worried I was going to crash. I have this struggled with five Hamlet, different crashes throughout my entire time doing this. They are yours now, and you are bound to them. And I'm just laying them talk. Thank you. Pretty much, as you can see. The reason why I specifically separated your character from your mercenaries is because they are separate, which I didn't realize that till I discovered that if you if these two die in the tutorial mission, which they can, uh, the game states that you just ran ran uh, blindlessly through the forest to get to the hamlet. But uh, yeah, so immediately you have a lot of stuff here. Uh, shards, we'll talk about that when we... I probably will never get into these. In fact, I'm still new to them. They come with the Color of Madness DLC. Everything here, upgrade buildings. This is our uh, cash account, also called How Poor We Are. Uh, I... The candle is the menu. Okay, I did not know that. Uh, the book is pretty much a glossary of tips. And a bunch of other things we'll talk about. I'll de horribly describe everything when we get there. Ignore Banner the Butcher's Circus. I don't have that on because it's a multiplayer battle. Okay, pretty much Nomad Dragon will cover trinkets her first. and charms gathered from all the oh, forgotten yes. corners of the earth. Pretty much they sell trinkets, which go here. I will show them more when we unlock them. I'm not wasting all my money on them. Yet. Then go here. Oh, what? This is Shards of Madness. Uh, Colors of Madness. Wow. Okay, I, uh... Did not know these existed. Because I never go to the Nomad, because I believe all her stuff is way too overpriced. In time, you will know the tragic extent of my failings. Yeah, I'm just gonna let him talk whenever he shows up, because I seriously have no clue how loud he is. Because the moment the game didn't crash, I immediately started recording. So I'm just gonna stay quiet and let him talk. But pretty much, uh, this is just all the lore of the game, pretty much. Uh, it's not boring. It's interesting. These are all the bosses and other challenges we have to face, excluding the uh, Darkest Dungeon. Which is a dungeon type that I will look over soon. Colors of Madness, that is its own DLC. Oh, hey. I didn't realize they had it in a separate part. Oh no, I have to beat that three times. Can I do that in a month? I have no clue. The final stage of your... Sounds like we're going in there four times. Uh, over time we may find journals. Uh, those are just pieces of paper for lore. After I gather them all at the end of the... I want to see... 
at the end of the game, I'll probably read them all, hopefully. Women and men, soldiers and outlaws, fools and corpses. All will find their <laughs> way to us now that the road yeah. is clear. This is where we hire all the poor fools who are willing to join our cause. They start at level zero, but we can get more as time comes. I'm increasing the more roster and stage quotes. Uh, fortune or, and glory in like this these domain will increase the number of heroes available, and that will give us more people. Which is up here. So first off, we have the Plague Doctor. This guy just throws blight. I call it acid. Mostly because it looks like it. And it sounds more horrible. What better then, laboratory much, than the blood soaked battlefield? All I'm gonna say about them. Backtrack okay. Plutomania might be a problem. And then this is the very like this is the only good healer. The other one is useful, but it's really more of a clutch use. I mostly have battle, that one around just for unrelenting. Uh, Eldritch Beans. There's camping skills. Uh, we won't worry about that till we actually get into the camping stuff. Combat skills, pretty. I horribly explained those. And then you have preferred positions where they want to be and who they want to target, pretty much. You want to fill out the brightest bulb, by the way. I just want to say that right now. Uh, you can name them. That's all we got. Change their uh, color palette. I'll keep it a four because eh. And pretty much the green glow around the uh, bulb thing light is uh, pretty much if they can buff. I keep. I need to stop saying pretty much. All right. So yeah, uh, those are the two new people. We need to fix uh, Reynold though. And then we have the graveyard. We might be visiting here. Most will end up here, covered in the poisoned earth, awaiting merciful oblivion. It's not going to be empty for long. A mecca of madness and morbidity. Your work begins. Alright, this is the dungeon mode. There is actually one more dungeon. Oh, let me just shove everyone into the party roster. There's also some special combos, like this is called Red Hook, but if I do this, it's the usual suspects. Which I find unique and interesting. But there's one more dungeon called the Crimson Court, but that is like really late level stuff. And my main focus is to beat the darkest dungeon. Dungeon. Do you get get the epilogue? Pretty much uh, every mission here. Ignore their cries of fear. We'll send them in there soon enough. Pretty much uh, rewards gold. Uh, sometimes they come with different uh, I'm going to call them materials. And then they usually have a usually one or two trinkets. You see the darkest dungeon is special. That will pretty much mean if um, if someone goes in there they'll pretty much panic. But I believe I have that turned to e the easier difficulty in the settings. The cost of preparedness sure. measured now in gold. This is the provision guy. Later. Some characters start blood. with supplies that they give you. You cannot sell them because they're free items. Uh, usually, the game doesn't tell you this, but it recommends eight food. I think I usually go a little bit extra. Some shovels to clear obstacles and break into things. Some skeleton keys, and I usually buy at least two stacks of torches. But if, but because usually the first dungeon is a preset, I'm just gonna buy barely any torches. 
Usually I run around with at least 16 torches. Yeah, because I have to explain everything in like the first like two to three episodes. Uh, yeah, it's going to be like 40 minutes of me rambling. And you have to deal with me saying pretty much every uh, five sec five uh, sentences. So, uh, sucks to be you. Wait, do they have a... I think that's number two. Yeah, that's number two. Do you have... I'm, I'm figuring things out cosmetically. It's very important. And, and there, I made them all wear white. That's all I did. Known as the odd one out. The green is just your starting area. No clue why it's green. You can pretty much ignore that. And they also will randomly like quip in and just talk. You need to go room to room. It's really easy, basic gameplay, and then you run into the more horrible enemies. I like this guy, uh, Dismas. Dismas. He uh, sucks in ruined dungeons because he usually relies on bleeding. However, he is a good shot, which also makes him useful. I can make our trip to the time zone to do that. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted and then and purpose is made clear. This person's an okay healer, but we can buff someone I choose. A crusader, hopefully. Be gone, fiend. Yeah. But party party grouping is very important. We're just gonna get some Packs supplies. Laden with loot. Oh yeah, I was supposed We're to show off the supplies. looting. Yeah, scouting is a thing. You can scout. It's a random chance. It's pretty much Even every dungeon has like a base of twenty-five percent. Preventing passage. Unless someone in your party has some sort of a positive quirk, which is what this side is. These are positive. These are negative quirks. I think the max is like five or six. Yeah, um, that's all I really got for that. Uh, combat wise, you know, enemies, they're not fun. Uh, this person needs to die first because they cause stress. And stress damage cannot be healed like regular damage. That did not work. I tried, uh, okay. Or you can dodge. I think we're just gonna keep on standing. Another abomination. Let me bugs and damage. Wow, 23 stress. Okay. Plague Dark is already up to 43. That is not good. And do tracking shot so we get uh, a buff. We're going to buff Reynold. Alternatively, I could have stacked my buff on top of uh, the Highwayman's buff. Their class is also under their moon. I'm just going to keep trying to keep it lit at least. Good. And then this little symbol here, that usually means that you can combo or chain the attack. It is also shown by connecting two of the lights together, if you look at the attack. It's very useful. Some things are special like that, which so far this is a good haul. Uh, in the next treasure room I'll show you the special little thing uh, you can do to get more loot. Because that has a room battle in it. So far, what we're going to do is keep the torch low a task well performed. to at least dim light. I believe it should be control shift. 
if the cultist acolyte doesn't lower me down to you. So we have a human, human, unholy. We're gonna buff the highwayman. Man, it's man. Man is man. Okay, we're gonna heal him. Compassion is a rarity in the fever pitch of battle. Ow. We need to heal him. We're gonna go straight for the kill. Good. Or you can miss that attack. We're gonna counter it with this. Continue the onslaught. Don't miss that. Destroy them all. Okay. Even though the Plague Doctor does low damage, their bloody damage output is really good. Now you may be noticing as the as it gets darker, they're doing a lot more damage, which is where it gets kind of hard to actually like, maintain. Maintain the offensive. The trick is, and I've learned this from someone I watch, Annihilated. is you kill the torch. And this happens. Seize you this get momentum. a bunch of loot. Push on to the tasks and end. keep it turned off because it increases loot chance. We're already out of post. Usually I immediately throw away journal pages. Ooh, that's stress though. I don't want to give that. Eh. First off, that can go to you because that gives you blight. Stun. I can only think of giving that to the Crusader for the time being. I'm sure. We'll give that to Diz to Dismas. The light. And we're going to promise of safety. Everything. I don't do that move often because, oh, I forgot to describe the room how it I forgot to, uh, I don't do it too often because Ambushed by Bowling with this dungeon is automated, I have it to my memory, pretty much. So my brain is going on autopilot for this. This is reactionary, I cannot control that. But pretty much, uh, Every room has icons above, obviously. Uh, that is a Kiro icon right there. The torch is where your party is. The arrows mean you're moving in that direction. If you see the shield above their head, they're going to steal stuff. It's usually not good. Sometimes they'll investigate something, but because Reynold is a kleptomaniac, he will take and steal. Which is overall not cool, but he doesn't care. He's a crusader. It's in his right. Uh, certain rooms will have different things. For example, boss rooms have this, that skull pretty much, but it's red. We'll see it soon enough, trust me. Uh, and then treasure rooms have a chest. And that's really all I can say. Oh boy, we're gonna get to afflictions real soon. Pretty much whenever someone reaches 100, they suffer what is called, I think, a virtue or affliction chance. However, always expect a affliction just because the affliction chance is literally like, I've heard it's like 80% chance of getting an actual affliction, which is a bad thing, you don't want that. And then a 20% chance to get a virtue, which is really good. Which I'm pretty sure even then that's wrong. I'm pretty sure it's a 90-10 split. I'm not sure. Okay, we're gonna stun the bone defender. Oh yeah, the this the little uh, check mark that looks like counting your days in uh, prison. That is person. That is pretty much the uh, how many times they a move and they have a action. Some 
I'm not sure if anyone has two actions. But I know when you stun someone, you should death. always target Unforeseen. whoever has an action left. So they can't attack you. Oh. That's not good. Okay. They go on. And after someone's stunned, they gain a buff that just increases their stun. The enemy the, uh, resistance by 50%, so you can't stun lock them. I mean, if you get enough stun, like items, you can totally stun lock them. Okay, and bastard trying to beat his action. But what are going for here? Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. I did that too. Whenever there's like loot in a room, always uh, click continue adventure, and then loot, obviously because you you need money in this game. I will go bankrupt within the first uh, five to ten ish missions because usually I have horrible loot in this game. Everyone is level one, the max level is six. And let's just click all these at once. Okay. That's not good. Then again, I can make them specifically a melee healer. Once we unlock a room, so the we should be good. tents are pitched, banners fly, and the corpse wagons stand at the ready. I don't have the butcher the DLC has come to town. I swear I turned that off. Oh boy. Alright. Pretty much. This is just... Can I enter it? Okay, good. But pretty much that's the uh, multiplayer mod. Uh, well, DLC. You click here, you enter, you can challenge your friends. So if you don't like one of your friends and you want to ruin their day, you can attack them and challenge them. Alright, we have another high, uh, highwayman. Their moves are randomly generated, I believe. Overall, for the time being, I do not want duplicates yet. I want to have at least one of every class and in my roster. Make for a powerful I just ally. Want to run upgrade. Okay. The only exception I'd make is seriously the Vestal. A sister of battle, um, pious, the and cleric of a bunch, as some would say. And then this person, uh, some people cannot work together, I believe. Oh, we can't do test that right now. Give me one moment. Okay, but some classes cannot work together. We I mean, like the farm start. I'm not touching that yet. Uh, to relieve stress, you can go to the abbey. Straight. Or the, the Abbey cavern. calls to the faithful. I personally uh, upgrade the cards and curtain rooms. Don't know why I always to the default to max the bar. But pretty much, uh, send people here. You pay gold, and they just kind of relieve stress. That's about it. And if they're you know, getting drunk, doing whatever, you know, gambling. We need more people, which we can do this. There are builds you can do. Oh, that's a new, the Crimson Hand. I have never gotten that. But pretty much what you want to do is you want to try and keep it ba uh, spaced out. We do not, we have five, eh. Every video is going to be 40 minutes. We are riding the fine line right now. The Book of Holiness. That is... Okay. Why are they all mediums? Um, yeah, this is a short, but it's literally just a... Uh, a wave defense, that is not good. 
and I do not want to start my next dungeon and go through two... Why do they all have to be mediums? I, I can't do anything. <laughs> I only have five minutes. I, I think I'll just end this video early. Ah, we can do a horde. We can do a horde defense in five minutes. I'm I'm brave enough. Do I need a shovel? I don't know what I need. I have never done farm. I've done it once, one singular time. I'm gonna buy some bandages and something. You know, I'll, I'll buy two of each. Blight had so struck no the harvest again what that year, this is. and the miller was desperate. He came to me, hat clutched tightly in filthy fingers, stinking of sweat and manure. Seated comfortably in my observatory, surrounded by telescopes and other delicate apparatus, I recognized his misfortune as an opportunity. And I agreed to lend him my expertise. Now you may be wondering, who is the antagonist in all this? Is it your mansion with a possible demon in it? It's actually just your ancestor. I don't want to be in here, man. But I don't have a choice. Let's go. Onward. Husk humans. That guy is stealthed. Oh god. They're immediately going to stealth enemies. Are you serious? Pretty much I can't attack that guy unless if I do better. They can de they cannot be targeted by singular attack. But they can be targeted by group attacks. Okay, he is horror. Pretty much what that does is it is it's pretty much blight and poison. But instead of dealing damage to your health, it deals damage to your uh, stress. I'm half tempted to say sanity at this point. What am I looking at? Can't do bleed it out because they can't see that person. Oh, is this... Okay, we could stun. Yeah, we're gonna try to stun those two. Okay, that worked. Uh, the Hellion pretty much focuses on bleed damage and a bunch of crowd control stuff, similar to Reinald. And I can actually use most of his abilities because these are not unholy somehow. We're just gonna use Divine Comfort. Adrenaline run. Oh! Hey, is adrenaline rush for a battle? Four rounds. Farmstead. Okay. Oh, okay. There we go. We're doing good. Give them no quarter. Yeah, and after you kill someone, they become corpses that you need to chop down to get to anyone else. So we're just gonna do that. The seeds of man became a crystal. Another crystal. one falls. Oh, it heals. Okay. The fiend falls. A faint hope blossoms. Just gonna keep on spamming healing abilities right now. Um. All right. I'm going for a stab, which we're gonna miss because why not? Yeah, more of them will come. I think if we get that bar full, we're going to be allowed to win. That force only scares me. Oh, so it's the only move I'm kind of scared to find out. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Alright, that worked. 
Come on. <laughs> Destroy that with him because he's injured. Back to the pit. We're going to try and stun the horse, which we're going to miss. That is a 50% chance resistance. Well, I have a base 110. That raises the odds a little in my favor. Not high enough. I agree with him. Their formation is broken. Take a shot itself, Maintain the offensive. Don't do the best. Okay, that hit for once. I'm do a better healing instead of a group heal. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. I don't think he likes it when you scream at him. Okay. That is kind of bad. Paw the ground. Of course. Another abomination cleansed from our lands. I think he... No, okay. I thought we would have done it. Because it's the only person a time there. To perform beyond There's one's another limit. horse. Okay, I think, yeah. Oh, and that mixes us up. Oh no, I think they're going to do the same thing. and try and kill them. That's all we can really do. A victory. Perhaps the turning okay. point. I have no clue to see the madness do. I know it's called crystals. That heal, but I wonder if they do anything else. Oh boy, you forced us to go forward. That one. Ooh, that's a battle mark. That should be useful. We're gonna start moving back. We're gonna reorganize. Unstable resistance. Oh! Uh oh. Explosive undoing. Returns oh, oh. even the boldest gaze. Oh no. Masterfully okay, executed. That's exactly what we need. I, I need to move up. Great, quick that out again. Of course you gotta put the champ in. Okay. We can have some bleeding too. Now we can leave that horse alone and they will die. Which I'm going to favor and buffing this time. And That's my main goal right now. Oh. There we go, back to the original order. The bleeding should wipe out both of them. We're gonna do that to make the buff stack, or at the very least reset. Heal. Slowly, 
gently. Well, what about this is how a life is taken. By the way, my goal is to at least complete a dungeon. A couple dungeons, a video. Because I feel like it would be kind of cheap if I just cut off the video halfway through. Executed with impunity. And we are running 45 minutes. What do I do now? This is the perfect time to end it. Like, can I do that? Uh, I think we're just gonna try and end it here, hopefully. And it works. Like, I hope so. All right. Uh, I will record another video. I believe Wednesday is my next recording day. So yeah. I guess that's all. Goodbye, I guess.